Good morning. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Dave K here today for another beautiful day. Let's see if I can catch these buses and I might be missing one right now. I'm trying to tell which one that is. Uh, another day in beautiful Edinburgh. We'll see if it's a shorter one because I've got to get back to work and get up a little bit later today. But that's okay. Grab some food, maybe see some sights, and we'll keep the Edinburgh adventures going until they're not going anymore. Back in the city here and back on campus at the University of Edinburgh. Seems like a busier day this morning. You know, people going to classes and such. We found a nice little quiet area in the middle. As I'm gonna go this way too, a breakfast spot. Walking up this route, I'm not sure I've seen this particular direction. You can see buses coming at us here, but I'm not sure if that's the cathedral we saw, or a cathedral we saw, or something else. But all the architecture is really beautiful. I like these historic buildings. This side, less exciting. That side, perhaps, more visually appealing. Now, there are a lot of diverging roads. You can see looking like a very similar direction between up and down here. But I think this is that road that curves around that I walked down yesterday. A bit less less busy today, so I can show it to you. You can see the kind of incline here, whereas that flat road up there stays level. Now that I'm seeing this sign, Candlemaker, I believe I heard about this road, Candlemaker Road, but I'm not quite sure what the history was behind it. I think it's maybe just close to the Greyfriars. And I'm also seeing it's not the same shopping style curvy downward road I went on yesterday, just another hill. <laughs> there are so many of them out here, but certainly don't mind them with all the sights. Great view of that, uh, I'm not even sure, the monument, Scott Monument, I believe, from here as well. So here is Peerless. I saw a mine, it looked like a good one. Uh, we'll see if we get some seats inside or outside or what, and see what looks good. Do the uh, bacon and egg focaccia, please. Mm -hmm. All right, here we are with the what is this called again? The bacon and the egg focaccia breakfast. Looks good. I'm digging the other shot. I'm wondering if maybe I should have done the um, what do you call it? The uh, different sauces. You know, they, she asked what kind of sauce I wanted. Gave me a list, and I said brown sauce. But maybe I should have tried one of their homemade ones here. So we'll know for next time. But cool little spot. You can see these kind of mesh tables here, and uh, excited to dig in. Let you know what you think. All right, here is that twisty road. I was walking up the other day, you can see people walking in the street. That's a little busier, but not too crazy. It seems like they're doing some construction type out here too. But that was pretty good, I gotta say. That sandwich was tasty with the brown sauce. I know I was like, oh, I should try a more unique sauce. But I certainly enjoyed it with the brown one and could see myself going back. It's been pretty much all good food so far. Everyone's telling me, oh, you won't love it, but uh, pretty happy with it. I think they're just not huge fans of Scottish food, but I certainly enjoy it. You know, I think um, yeah, to each their own, and I like to try new things and get a variety of flavors going on. So, yeah, certainly recommend. Or maybe I just like things bland. <laughs> maybe I just like things bland. Who knows? Have I mentioned it sounds like, or always seems like someone's playing bagpipes up here, by the way? Different parts of uh, the area, different parts of the street, but nice to hear, indeed. Looking at souvenir options here, sweatshirts for 30 pounds. There's t-shirts in these boxes for like 20 pounds, so it's kind of like, ah, eh, you know, and all kinds of other stuff. We'll see if it sounds good. Okay, so there's lots of souvenir options. Uh, it's been busy out there too, so I'm dropping in the Writers Museum. This one was on my list. We saw it on the walking tour. Let's see if it's open. There we go, Writers Museum. Door looks open. Let's just walk in. Oh my gosh, look at the staircase right when you walk in too.
interesting here at the Writers Museum. I'm really glad I had a chance to check this one out. Um, I will say it's not my favorite thus far. It's not bad. It's certainly not that interesting history if you're into the writers and all of that. Also very, um, could perhaps use a, a freshener, you know. I think they're keeping a lot of the, um, the, perhaps not doing a lot of dusting because they want to preserve, you know, perhaps old texts or things like that. But uh, glad I had a chance to check it out. Um, on to the next one. There's some sneaky winding roads out here, but it looks like maybe that's the Scott Monument back in the distance. We're out here on this uh, main road again. We came out of this like alley type thing behind us. But uh, yeah, making our way on to the next one, National Gallery I'm hoping to check out today before I have to get back to work. I'm not gonna lie, the sign National Gallery is just a bit confusing because it says it on both sides of this pillar and it made me think, oh, walk through here for the National Gallery. But I think it should be this building, so. See what we can figure out. A nice view out here though, much more uh, open spaces, you know, a bridge, walkway. Looking down on some of the trains and things like that. Nice perspective on the city. Really a nice view from out here. I saw people stopping and taking some pictures, looking down. I mean, it's mixed, depending on what you want to see. But uh, certainly cool. And this is indeed the National Gallery behind us. So just don't see the way in quite yet. There's only a few different rooms, different exhibits right now. They're opening the two levels beneath on Saturday. They've been working on it apparently for five years and it's finally opening on Saturday. So I think maybe they took some art out or they closed off some areas upstairs uh, to prep those downstairs for Saturday, um, but we shall see. Uh, that being said, glad I had a chance to walk through and check it out. One more thing I'd like to do is grab maybe some uh, snacks for uh, later today. So I've got something to eat later this evening. So I might just grab a quick like, drop in Costa and see if they've got like a little sandwich for me or something. I also want to maybe try to drop in Little and see if I can grab some breakfast snacks, you know, like muffins or something. This is a cool Costa, I've got to say. Uh, we're going upstairs and I think we're in Newtown now, Newtown, Edinburgh. Uh, Costa is just like a Starbucks coffee shop kind of thing, but it'll be nice to have a sandwich for the road. If you haven't seen me in one before, in Ireland, I have been in one, so. It's nice to try. They got a nice variety as well. Thank you. Okay, and I have here my maple hazel latte and my nacho chicken sandwich from Costa. It's a bit hard to video with one hand here, but I'll be sure to let you know how it is. And here we are in Newtown. See if I can maybe drop in the store. And a food and beverage review while we are on the bus here. Glad I caught it. Had some card issues, it seems. Uh, the coffee is not bad. You know, I, I think I generally prefer Starbucks. And you know, I've gotten this before. Look at that beautiful view, by the way. Oh man, this is a great place to see that from. Anyways, um, it was it was not bad coffee. It's not not too flavorful like maple, you know. But the sandwich is pretty good. I like the nacho concept, nacho flavor there. So. You know, hit and miss, uh, pros and cons, depends on what you like. So, I'm 
I'm almost back to my Airbnb and back to work now. Thanks so much for helping me make it an amazing day. Don't forget to make your day an incredible day as well. Focus on the positive vibes. Look for the silver lining in everything you do. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because you know you liked it and subscribe for more coming your way. The most exciting adventure, a uh, very exciting adventure, is coming up in just a few days after I leave Edinburgh. You'll like where I'm going after this. So keep your eyes open. Until next time, play on.